Yo, what up, it's your boy Shank Daddy, coming back to another My Heroes video. And we got our weekly update. Let's check our DPS. Uh, before we get into it, guys, hit that like button. It helps your boy out, pushes me into the algorithm and whatnot. You guys know the drill by now. Um, just, I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, that being said, let's just get back to it. Um, as you guys can see, uh, our DPS is a little bit better. Um, not like it, it might be a little more top heavy. Like we might go down a little bit as the time goes on. We'll go to one minute like we normally do. Um, yeah, last week we saw a little bit of a decline in our damage and uh, hopefully this week it'll it'll come back. I mean, we did get another gem. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the greatest stats on it. No, not the permanent stats, but the stats that you can change and upgrade and stuff. Those two stats, I, I got them to be, I believe, wood attack and EP, but I couldn't get a good stat. Beside, like, I couldn't get, like, a legendary version of both stats, basically, this week. Hopefully next week we'll get it. Um, but as you guys can see, I mean, we're we're definitely better than where we were last week. Last week we actually kind of took a little bit of a damage hit. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, as you can tell, this week we came back. where I think we're a little bit over what we were two weeks ago. Let's check our uh, training room dummy damage. Um, I believe what we're, like, 726 billion or something. Uh, somewhere around there. So let's see if we can come back. We do have more uh, water suppression this week. So if we can change that to water. Boss stationary 60 seconds. Okay, we should be good. Rift water boss stationary. Okay, let's check it out. Um, but yeah, guys. A uh, couple a couple upgrades this week. A uh, soul card upgrade. Uh, obviously, we had one gem upgrade. We had uh, some pet stuff. I actually changed up some of my pet stuff. And I'll explain that when we get to it. That I think will be good. Yeah, I think we're we're looking pr we're looking a little bit better, and there's definitely going to be room for improvement because I couldn't get anything good equipment wise. I'll show off that I think first. Um, but yeah, we're uh, you know we, we made a little bit of an, uh, a comeback in this last in in this previous week, and uh, if anything, a little bit of an upgrade I would say. Uh, we still have 20 seconds here, so hopefully we can make up some time i mean we're it's not like we're doing like that much better but again a lot of room for improvement with the one gem i am gonna i know i keep saying it guys it's just uh this previous week i actually worked in the last six days before recording this video i, I worked almost 80 hours so it's been a rough uh rough go at it and i think this next week it might actually be even worse which sucks all right so 736 not bad that is certainly better than what we did last week and I believe that beats what we did two weeks ago. So good to see. All right, guys, just wanted to mention um, my partner recruitment link will be in the description of this video and all my other My Heroes videos. For every time that you click the one link, I do get one share token. Obviously, I got my Torchbearer outfit. That was the big starter thing that I was going after. Next will be the emoji, and then I'll probably get the Torchbearer uh, emblem here. But uh, yeah, if you are a new player or an existing player that wants to make a new, just wants to make a new account, my recruitment link will be in the description of this video. If you don't want to click it, that's fine. It just helps kind of support me. But with, uh, with that being said, let's get back to the video. All right, guys. So let's kind of dive into the weekly update here. We're only going to we're going to just only go with for our first spec again, just because there's no reason really to go with Kyushin, um at this point. Not that Kyushin isn't doesn't mean anything, but I didn't really make any specific upgrades for Kyushin. Um, but let's take a look at some of the equipment that I did get. Uh, you know, we're trying to go after the speedy emblem. The speedy emblem makes the most sense uh, right now because I have four attack rate. So I'd end up with a 40% damage increase. Uh, if we could get the right, you know, the right thing here. Obviously this one, honestly, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm actually holding on to this one. I'm just going to knock it. That, that, that's, you, you, we're hoping for a four slot thing. That way it's a little bit easier. We don't have to add any slots. This one wouldn't be bad, it's just we'd end up with one blue stat either way. Um, the Salamander Shroud, again, same thing. I, I couldn't get a good... So this week I really didn't get anything good in terms of a four slot, two legendary stat um, equipment piece. Uh, we got some decent pieces, but you know, this week I'll probably have to wait until next week. I'm holding on to these for now because maybe I'll make the decision if we really can't get anything within the next week or so. Um, I'm going to have to start saving up again because whenever that water, the new water spec comes out, I'm going to want to have uh, some EX currency. So that, that, you know, that, that is what it is for the equipment. Hopefully we'll get something good. Um, looking at our pets. So now this is going to be a little bit different because in the past, 
you know, we had, I was using basically the generic pets that you can get for merging. All the pets here, except for the Lethargic Sage are limited event pets. Um, I could basically get any limited event pet now to at least two stars. And uh, Evil God's actually pretty close. I need one more Evil God pet and I can get Evil God up to three stars. But the reason I wanted to bring them because their effects are just better. Like oh, for my overall damage, I could do more damage if I have these pets, even when they're at a lower star thing. If I'm wrong with that, let me know. But for now, these guys are good. And the reason why I even thought of that is because I was, I was looking at my team strength and it was just way above what I needed to actually make it so that, um, you know, the time doesn't get added on so like right now it probably takes me around two days total for each one of these marvelous tree levels we're probably have about 10 more levels i'd have to guess usually there's like 20 levels max so we're at 10 10 here we're at the 10th stage of uh the marvelous tree and it seems like we're ahead because usually it goes up by like 250 or something like 200 250 each team strength thing for each level so we're we're we're, uh, we're definitely ahead right now and, and i could still level this uh r2 pet up each week i'll probably get at least one level um if not two levels so i think i'll be ahead team strength wise that's why i figured let me bring in these limited event pets it'll help my damage and uh yeah so our pets are looking pretty good soul card um i was upgrading some stuff but most notably our fur fur card uh, I was able to get a 5-star max MP. Now, MP doesn't necessarily help us too much, but I felt like all the stats here were pretty good. My last fur fur card, if anybody does recall, it basically had a 4-star on HP, and the other stats weren't amazing by any stretch, so I, I'm, I feel a lot better with this card, so I, I put this card on all my fur fur profiles. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get some other cards. I have some stuff in the works here. Um, this Abyss Hunter Ice Claw, I was maybe going to try to, like, get a crit damage one. Um, and then I could, I don't know if I would switch it with this or not, but, you know, we'll, 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 I'd mess around with it for sure. Uh, but, yeah, the biggest, like I said, the one and only real big thing this week in particular was this Fur Fur card, getting the five-star max MP. It isn't terrible. It's not great because MP isn't really the biggest deal when it comes to the fur fur spec, but it certainly isn't the worst thing. I, I think it'll be helpful going forward. And it's it was better than my other card, regardless. So um, when it comes to runes, I think we did make an upgrade. Uh, let's go to our aux runes. I was able to add one more level nine charm here, aux rune. So now we're almost, almost three of our gear pieces are all level nine uh, wood aux runes. So that's cool. Uh, obviously I didn't buy all aux runes this time. I bought EX armor from the shop. If we look at our astral shop real quick. Um, all right, what am I doing? We go to the permanent store. Like normally if I didn't need rage crystals as much, I would go all elemental breeze option packs and then I'd go rage crystals next or you know something else. But right now we need the Rage Crystals, so uh, I've been trying to do that. So we're still making some sort of progress rune-wise. Like I said, we probably went up about 10 rune energy. I think we were 1384. Now we're 1394. Uh, so that's good. And, and I have been saving up because eventually when, when that water thing does come out, I'm back up to 57,000 uh, core rune uh, currency. Let's take a look at our gems here. Um, the one notable thing was that we did get our last solarium stone for uh let's see where is it at right now uh it's one of the level 15 ones uh let's see this one so we did get a counter boost water suppression gem unfortunately i was trying to switch the two top stats here i couldn't get anything good and i didn't want to like try to go to a legendary stat that was like say hp regen or something and then um not be able to get one because at this point I needed to use this gem so hopefully next week I'll be able to legendary stat both of these and then we'll be good in terms of our like water and our uh wood solarium stones they're both good now I do want at some point I got to start doing my bastion again work has been crazy I worked almost 80 hours last week um when I when I did the you know when I calculated it up so and I, and I think this week is going to be I would say just as bad hours wise, if not worse. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I just have that feeling just from just from experience. But that one gem. Um, so I did get rid of my counter boost damage boost gem, which means my Gushin spec might get hurt by that because it's they're going to it's going to basically have to use another water suppression gem. But it is what it, actually. Well, because the other gem, see, like this one is the last fire suppression one. I will probably get to the stat bonuses 
uh, last. Like once I once I get the wood, uh, the wood, but well not the wood suppression. Once I get this one fixed, then I'll fix this one. The stats. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of actually like going through all my solarium stones, I have they're all water suppression stats now, like the right stats at least. Now, if I want to upgrade them anymore, I can. Um, right now I can't. I don't think I have any more upgrade materials. Like if I go to this and then I try to upgrade one of these, I guess I can upgrade this one once, but, uh, for the most part, none of these can really be upgraded. Eventually though, I guess I'd have to transmute them and just take the, the hit on the actual gems itself, but then get back all of my upgrade materials for when I'm doing my gem bastion, but that'll come in time. But yeah, guys, I think that's really it. So not a crazy long weekly update. Um, you know, been doing good. Today is technically the monthly Apex tournament. I did make a short on YouTube to kind of just like remind people. Hopefully you guys see it in time. If not, you know, it is what it is. At least I tried. But uh, yeah, that, that should be it. Because um, I don't think Soul Orb or anything else. We didn't really make any upgrades there or Soul Link. So guys, um, you know, drop a like, leave a comment. And, uh, you know, I'll keep, I'll keep watch. I should come out with three videos, uh, this upcoming week. So I'm thinking like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll release them. And, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll answer all your comments as best I can in the time. Just, just know that I'm very busy with work at the moment. It is what it is. It just kind of comes with the job. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you, uh, at some point this week. And, uh, hopefully you have a good week yourselves. So, all right, guys, peace out. Your boy Shank Daddy here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, drop a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you boys and girls in the next video.